Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. I thought I would do a quick update video on what we found yesterday, what was tangled, and um, a ring that I showed you with opals. Well, I didn't even know it was opals because the person that sold it to me only mentioned the uh, chromium diopside. And then some of you told me about their possibility that they could be opals. Wella opals, I think they said, or Wella, I'm not even sure. But welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Hit that thumbs up as you walk in the door. If you love jewelry and you love thrifting and thrifted finds, this is the place to be. I will very likely bring you a live video later. I'm going to go thrifting in a little while. I went yesterday as well, but I actually didn't even find anything. I could not believe I walked out of the Goodwill with nothing in my hands. And um, then the music was kind of loud in there too, so I didn't record in there. But I may go again today to another thrift store and to another Goodwill, and I will possibly bring you some live footage from there as well. But let me show you what we did untangle. Hey, Jude. Hey, Sassy and Sanja. Um, we untangled this little mess here. Remember that kind of nylon cord? It was broken, so a lot of people were thinking I had sacrificed a lot of things. But the things that I usually sacrifice are already broken and this one was broken there was a little bit let me bring you down just a bit another tripod situation here plus i feel like my internet's messing up again so there's a little like a choker here now left of the it was a very long i think it was like three or four strands of this suede thing so it um it was already it was already cut somehow and i cut all of it up and just say salvage this so i think you can either tie a knot and make it a choker or maybe even put some findings on it and make it longer that came out of that tangled mess hey Michelle and then I don't remember if we saw this one I really thought this might be sterling but it's not but it is little what do you call it cat eyes really pretty I like this I've seen a lot of jewelry like this design in sterling so I really thought that's what it was but it's not and then I really love this one, guys. Oh, wait a minute. That's like number three in the back. I don't want to tangle these again. <laughs> this one came out. This is not the one I really love, but this one is pretty. Very nice. Um, Dichroic glass. I really like the way they did a nice design on this one. These are usually kind of plain. And um, they don't usually do that much in there. Hey, Miss Vanessa. But that was in the tangled mess too, or actually that may have come out and I just failed to show it. There were a few things I failed to show. I did find the match to these earrings and the ones I told you that look like, um, I think it's, I think it's Liv, L-I-V and Ingrid and they're a very expensive brand. Um, that's what they remind me of. I'm not saying they are because those are usually Hallmark somewhere. But just the way they knit these little beads on there and they use really quality materials. So I am wearing that pair of earrings with these beautiful, with the beautiful coral necklace. Isn't that a great match? And it's even gold. So yeah, that's what I have on right now to go to the grocery store. Aren't I glam? <laughs> We're venturing out to the grocery store today. We're going to a specialty market, that's why. We have to go buy some special ingredients for a special meal I want to make. And um, so I have to go to this store. In order to, because they've been bringing me like, when I order Instacart, I was telling my daughter, I don't know, I feel like I'm in, I feel like I'm in a communist country where I don't have very much choices. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But I'm getting like, you know, I'll ask for one potato or, or a couple of potatoes and they'll bring me a giant sack or um, a couple of onions and they bring me a giant sack like they just bring me what they have or I don't know. But anyway, I digress. All right, then this turned out to be sterling. I did test it. I never found the mark. It's very heavy, but I acid tested it. I'm going to clean it up really nice and shiny because it's a very, very nice bangle. It's that twisted wire. So this is going to look nice once it gets done. It's really, really nice. And it is sterling. Acid tested today. So yeah, I'll be leaving in a little while. And this is going to be a short little video. And uh, I'll probably come back tonight with either a thrift haul or, a, or another jewelry jar. Look at this one. Remember, I thought it was one 
like separate I thought it was two separate necklaces but this is actually the toggle it is so so cute look at that I think that's darling it's got like a um, Tahitian pearl look it's got that little circle open circle with rhinestones or crystals so I love that that was in the tangled mess as well hi Elizabeth K thanks for being here yes that's exactly what Instacart looks like and everything was generic like all the brand which I'm not too much of a snob especially with the grocery store that that is HEB they have wonderful you know um, namesake products and generic products but everything I asked for like vanilla extract everything was a generic and uh, so it's okay I don't mind I still don't want to go to that grocery store but I have to go to this specialty store to buy some uh, some special chilies and everything because I want to make um, I want to make like a, my own enchilada sauce and things like that so I have to go pick out these dried chilies that you have to reconstitute and oil and bake and toast and do all kinds of crazy things with them and it's been a while since I've cooked that way and I'm in the mood for it so that's what I'm gonna do here's another one this one I thought was one bar remember the one I told you would probably look good layered up with the gold I was wearing yesterday well it turned out to be two bars and they're really pretty and I actually thought they were rhinestones when it was lost in that mess but they were they're kind of um, diamond cut and they're two bars very nice too I do like that a lot really pretty I feel like I'm too close and I feel like I'm too far sorry about that again working with another tripod today I finally found my other tripods and it's in good condition the gold is still in pretty good condition there's a little wear over by the end here but nothing to take away from you know the beauty the substitutes they do yeah and my daughter was telling me she's kind of the one that's been ordering mostly but she's better at it I guess she says you just have to tell them not to you're not going to accept substitutes and then you can chat with them but um, oh and then they bring me these giant bananas I hate giant bananas I like little little bananas <laughs> they filled me up so quickly I think I did show you this but this was the little crystal one that's a pretty one that looks like a vintage piece I don't know or maybe redone a little jump ring on there very nice crystal I think they are what do you call this bicon don't let me for, forget to tell you about the opal okay because I do want to ask you guys questions about opals okay um, oh the Stella and dot I did show you that as well but it's such it's such a nice piece guys it's got rhinestones I don't know if you got to see that all sides of this link top and sides have the rhinestone still in dot and it looks really really nice so I love that then this big one was pretty I thought these were real pearls but they're kind of glass so really long probably you know it's so funny how it has this right here almost like it's supposed to be this way because look how it has holes right there so I don't know if that was supposed to be another another finding there or what I don't know and then it just has a whole lot of different a lot of hair on it still <laughs> and it's not my hair it's black anyway I think they're glass they're wire wrapped they're faux pearls it's a pretty piece but I'm puzzled by these two findings that are on kind of I don't know kind of an interesting spacing on those you guys can let me know about that you're allergic to bananas that's right you did tell me that once I gotta have my bananas with my I don't have cereal as often as I have yogurt but um, I, I do a lot of oatmeal and I do a lot of yogurt for breakfast this one is fabulous guys and this one is marked with an interesting hallmark I think it says TR let me let you see it just the smell makes you oh my goodness and I like um, banana malts and all kinds of things like that smoothies okay there it is FI FI is the mark on that it looks very well constructed this may be jet or something it's really pretty I love the bugle beads on that it's long too it's not like a choker length 
So that was an interesting piece that was in that tangled mess and I didn't even notice that one. I had not even noticed that one. That's so funny. I think I just moved my camera again. It's very closely tied to this area over here. Sorry about that. Yeah, so the, isn't that pretty? And FI is the mark on that. Don't know what it means. Okay, I almost thought it was broken, but it's not. Very nice. It's probably about 20 inches long plus an extender. So that's a pretty piece, and I like the way it just has that dangle like down the middle there. You know, it's not like a complete bib. Very cool. So yeah, we're going to go to uh, a grocery store today. That's going to be a different adventure. Haven't been to one since uh, the shutdown and the everything. So we shall see. I did show you this one as well, but someone inquired about it, so it's really pretty. Not real pearls, but they really look like it. And then here was another one that I also showed you. But you know what? This is 925. I just saw this right now. And it looks so pretty. See, I think my uh, I think my internet's acting stupid because it goes dark and I think that's when it buffs. Is it buffering on y'all? Can you see the 925 mark? I'm surprised these are not real pearls. Hey, Mike, how are you? I'm so surprised these are not real pearls. No, they're not. But they are crystal-like and beautiful colors. Just a really, really pretty baby blue, kind of an aqua color there. All right, that's that. You already saw that, but I hadn't seen that it had 925 on it. So that makes it all the more desirable in my eyes. Then I thought this was 925, and I thought it was a bull, but it's an, it's an elephant. <laughs> And it's silver tone. It has a fancy clasp. Took forever to get it out of that tangled mass, but we got it. This is a solid piece of metal, though. Probably, probably copper base. That little elephant is super heavy. And I don't know why I thought he was a bull. I was thinking, you know, bull market. That kind of thing. Bear bull market. So that's what I thought it was. I used to work for a stock market stock broker so i was thinking that'd be cool for someone who runs a trading office then here's another big tangle came out of that these are all acrylic kind of an antiqued chain on that yeah maybe that's it he really looked like a bull to me <laughs> plus it's hard to tell when you're looking through the camera also remember the uh the cloisonne bracelet that I said was damaged. Well, I knew there was another one, but I didn't show it to you. And this one is not damaged. The other one did have the blue enamel on the inside. But this is a true cloisonne. You can actually feel the wire on this. And there's, I know that I've had, I've seen some videos where they say, you know, there's a lot of imitation cloisonne where it's just enameled. But this one, yeah, you can see and feel the wire there and how the enamel is just dotted throughout and then on the broken one the one that's damaged the blue one i already put it in the i already put it in another place right now but you can the wires are actually popping out so they are it's actually almost like a little jigsaw puzzle and uh, this is a, a really nice one really pretty black i like that a lot that was there as well but i forgot to show it to you and then this one came out too this one was nice in the tangled mass. I don't know what this is. There are no knots or beads through this one. But very nice. I think they're um, they're like an oval. Oh look, there's like two caps right there. That's kind of interesting. There may have been a pendant there. That's funny. And then finally this big long one was in there. And it's all gunmetal. It's very pretty. Pearls some little hoops and more pearls and crystals I think yeah these are crystals they're not acrylic they're all glass of some sort that was in there oh and I also wanted to show you that anklet it's a very interesting anklet well, I think it's an anklet because it's pretty big and I think it's hematite and look at the tiger eye I mean the um, cat eye that make the flower those are pretty too so this was a really, really nice piece that came out of there. And I believe this is hematite. It's nice and weighty. 
It's knit very nicely, very nice beadwork on that. So I think that was a fine too. It's got a barrel clasp on that. I really like that one. But I wanted to um, also draw your attention to opals because when I bought this ring that I showed you, I think right before the the auction, I mean the um, last video, I told you that it was chromium diopside, and it is, and I wasn't sure what the other stones were, and you guys told me. I thought the white was, I think I heard her say zircon or white uh, sapphire, but everyone was saying, no, these are actually the yellow ones. I said, I don't know, they're just some kind of AB stone, and you guys said, no, they're opals, they're wellow opals, and my point today is that I got it wet. <laughs> And I don't know, people say it's a myth, people say it's not a myth, but when you get them wet with hot water, which I was an idiot and washed my dishes today by hand, a couple of dishes, and you can see that about two or three of them have gotten cloudy. And um, so my question is, do you know about that? Are you aware that that's what happens with warm water or when it's underwater for a little while? And it's only happened to me twice. It happened to me with the one that Sandy made me this one and it's starting to get its color back but there's still a cloudiness to it and i don't think it comes back what do you guys know about opals have you heard that has that happened to you um and then some people say you're not supposed to get them wet at all and then some people say you should actually oil opals because it'll keep them from cracking and one blog i read a minute ago actually said that that opal is pretty delicate it's it's not a very hard stone and they even likened it to glass. So they basically said it's almost like wearing glass. That's pretty delicate when you think about it. But I'm kind of upset that I think three of them got a little cloudy, but it looks like one of them is clearing up. And maybe it depends on the size. I don't know, but isn't it a gorgeous ring? Plus, I hadn't noticed, and like I said, the place where I got it, it was a really short listing. They didn't mention anything about it. I, I looked at the, um, what do you call it? The Hallmark, and the Hallmark says India as well, and it is marked with a signature. I think it's P-A-N or T-A-N. It's also got three initials and 925. So I love the ring, chromium diopside. I believe there's zircon or white sapphire, and they're definitely, definitely opals. Now I know that. I thought they were just some kind of AB crystal. So let me know in the comments, guys, what you know about opals, how you take care of your opals. Um, have you heard that? Has that ever happened to you? It, it, they do get cloudy if you run them and if they're exposed to water. Let's say you go in a hot tub or you take a shower, you forget to take it off. I washed a couple of dishes today. Believe me, they weren't in there very long. But I did wash a couple of dishes and uh, that's what I noticed. So let me know about that. And uh, do they actually come back after? I think the one that I got from Sandy that she made me and gifted to me is coming back. It did get a big, big cloud when I first, then this happened a while back, but it looks like it's coming back and I was, it's such a big, beautiful opal. I don't know if it's a Wella or Wella, whatever it is. I forgot what you guys said. School me on that as well. Wella or Wello. This one, I believe that the one I'm wearing is Ethiopian, but, um, and then of course there's all kinds. So let me know everything you know about opals in the comments. I'd really like to know. And uh, I'll see you back later. Yeah, I'm not sure what will bring it back. I'm just, just going to, you know, wear it and maybe it will just um, conform back to itself. It seems to be coming back, though, because I really did notice there was about three of them that were cloudy. And now I just noticed this one's a little cloudy. It's, I think it's coming back. They are beautiful. Plus, I was also told, um, I was listening to a podcast today about jewelry, and they were talking about opals and how they're mostly capuchon. So that's another reason why I didn't think this ring, these were opals, because they're faceted. So again, let me know everything you know about opals in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up on your way in or out. I'll talk to you soon. i got to go run to the store. I'll bring you some more videos sometime today, either a live from the thrift store or a haul or something. All right, so we can talk later. Love you guys. Thanks for popping in. Bye.